फ्रेंड्स लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फोर लाइज बिटवीन टेन एंड टू फिफ्टी सो फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट दैट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू स्टार्ट राइटिंग द नंबर्स विच आर डिविजिबल बाई फोर बिटवीन टेन एंड टू फिफ्टी सो टेन इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट डिविजिबल बाई फोर सो वट इज द नेक्स्ट नंबर विच इज डिविजिबल बाई फोर हियर इज ट्वेल्व बिकॉज इलेवन इज ऑल्सो नॉट डिविजिबल सो ट्वेल्व इज डिविजिबल सो वी विल राइट ट्वेल्व आफ्टर दैट सिक्सटीन देन ट्वेंटी एंड सो ऑन and the last number given to us is 250 but is 250 divisible by 4 no it is not so what will be the last digit just before 250 which is divisible by 4 for that what we have to do is we have to divide 250 by 4 so when we divide 250 by 4 what we get this and we have to stop here because 10 is also not divisible perfectly so Uh, uh, not here exactly. Uh, go one more step because it is greater than four. So four twos are eight and two. So here, here you have to stop. Okay, and then multiply sixty-two with four. Four twos are eight. Four is twenty-four. Or manually also you can imagine just four two fifty two forty-nine two forty-eight. Yes, two forty-eight is divisible. So two forty-eight is the last number which is divisible by four. Now we have to find how many such numbers are there. So will it be feasible if we start counting twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and so on? No, not at all, because that will be a tedious process. So for that, what we have to do? We have got a formula: a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Here we are talking about n, the number of multiples, the number of such numbers which are divisible by four between ten and two fifty. So here a n is the last term, which is two forty-eight. So write two forty-eight. A is the first term, which is twelve here. N we have to find, and common difference is sixteen minus twelve, which is four. Twenty minus sixteen, which is four. So once we are aware it is an AP, bit difference between any term, and then for its uh, preceding term will give the uh, common difference. So here common difference is four. So it's just simplification left for us. Four n minus four. So here, twelve minus four is eight plus four n. Twelve minus four is eight, and two forty-eight. Now shift this eight to the left hand side. So two forty-eight minus eight is equal to four n. This is two forty. Now shift this four to the denominator. So we get two forty upon four is equal to n. And when we cancel it, it is sixty. So the number of numbers that lies between ten and two fifty divisible by four, or the multiples of four, are sixty in count. So this is how we solve this type of problem. Thank you.